angles or choreographic subjects, how do choreographic subjects operate. It's very nice that they are invited to um, visual arts contexts. I, that's really nice because that means there's an Überschneidung, a, a crossover, which is great because we're all artists. Our spectators or visitors rather, really in a position to do the work. Yeah, or do they think of work as something that they shouldn't be doing? This is rather a leisure activity coming to a museum. Whereas in fact, I think it's been suggested that one completes the work. In this case, this is something like a, a, a medium for the laws of this piece. So this, con this constitutes our constitution for a piece called RYBG, which means red, yellow, blue, green, which is a work that asks you to sustain a very simple cross pattern, at the same time to rotate these four colors, red, yellow, blue, green, in arithmetically, um, one place and you have to do this rotation mentally and while sustaining a cross pattern which provides a certain cognitive dissonance which I'm very interested in. All of the works that are appearing here and many of the choreographic objects have to do with confronting failure and have to negotiate with your own feelings about accomplishment or ambition or desire to understand with the work's resistance to you. It does try to confuse you because I'm very interested in problem solving. Any of these things can be solved. Any of these uh, choreographies can be solved, but they require work like all choreography does. Art doesn't follow strict rules. Art defines them. Choreography I can speak about, um, visual art I can't speak about, uh, although I appear in, in sometimes in visual arts contexts. Whereas they look like rules, yeah, they are not hard rules and they are open to interpretation. Yeah? It's a situation with choreography that rules are seen more as suggestions for behavior, but they are not insisting on a particular kind of behavior. They say that we, w we think it would be wise in this case to isolate certain behaviors, but we can't insist. So I like this non-insistent rules. It's a bit of a contradiction. I tend to be um, a little bit focused on the minutia of organization. I like to organize, I really do, you know? I really like um, to put things in orders and, um, you know, that's, it makes me happy. <laughs>